At the end of every month, a lot of Twitch streamers, they take their clips and the highlights, they edit them together and they upload it to YouTube as a Twitch highlight video of the month, which is an insane amount of time that is put into these videos and into the streaming, into the clips, making it all nice and edited. And at the end of the day, it is wasted time. There is absolutely nothing that these people gain out of it. And yet every streamer chooses to do it. So why is that? Hey guys and welcome back to another video my name is luke if we haven't met before if you think i missed anything throughout the video let me know down in the comments below or come by my stream on facebook every monday through friday link is also in the description and we can have a chat about it but let's start with the video of why i think that a twitch highlight video or eclipse highlight video wherever you're streaming is a waste of your time and how you can take that time and put it to better use. So what do we hear as a streamer? That just growing on Twitch is just not working. We hear that you have to create content somewhere else on a different platform and then drive these viewers to Twitch. And this is where a Twitch highlight, or I'm just using Twitch as an example, where highlight video just becomes a little bit of a paradox. So you're using your clips and you're posting them to YouTube, right? Because you wanna grow an audience on YouTube and bring them over to your stream. Here's the problem though. How are you growing an audience on YouTube? We all know how you have to create content that is search friendly so that people can find your channel. So let's say you've been playing Fortnite or Warzone, which is really popular at the moment all month and you put all these clips together and you're posting a Warzone or a Fortnite highlight of the month video. How do you think that is gonna go? Well, it's gonna go really poorly, right? Because if you don't have already thousands and thousands of follows that will watch that video right away when it goes live, it will never make it in the YouTube algorithm because Warzone, Fortnite, all these popular games that most streamers stream are completely saturated. No matter how good your keyword research is and how good of a keywords and tags you're using for your YouTube video, it is just way too saturated for your video with a low audience to make it into the YouTube algorithm. But here's a better way of what you can do with your Twitch clips. If you really wanna post your Twitch clips to YouTube, the best way to do it is to send your clips in to a channel that all they do is videos where they compile clips for a certain game and they make a highlight video out of it and they will give credit for every single clip to each of the creators. There's a lot of big channels that have 50, 75, even 100,000 subscribers on YouTube already that rely on you sending in your clips for them to get content. Don't be discouraged, don't stop clipping all your highlights. Don't stop posting your highlights. Please post your highlights on Facebook, on Instagram, or on Twitter right before you go live. Don't post it after your stream. Do it right before you go live because you want people to see that clip and then go over to your Twitch channel or to your stream to see more. You don't want them to see it after your stream. They go over and you're offline because 10 out of 10 times, these people will not return. Save those clips and send them in, all of them. Just send them in as many of amazing clips that you have to all of these channels out there that are relying on streamers to clip their stuff and send it in for them to get content. And there you go, there's your exposure. It brings you a lot more exposure because their videos are already getting 20, 30, sometimes even the 100,000 views within a week where your channel is most likely not at that growth yet. I hope this video was kind of helpful. If you think so, there's a like button down below. Helps out the YouTube algorithm to push this video even further and helps me out as a creator as well. And if you want to come by next time, think about hitting the sub button with the notification bell so you get notified every Wednesday and Saturday when I upload a new video. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Stay awesome, stay hydrated. We'll catch you next time.